your nose. <laughs> Blue Cold presents The Shadow, the mystery man who strikes terror in the very hearts of sharpsters, lawbreakers, and criminals. Ladies and gentlemen, when you hear The Shadow's blood-curdling laugh, you can be sure that exciting entertainment will follow. And here's something else that you can be sure of. When you buy Blue Cold, you're getting the finest of Pennsylvania hard coal. The harmless blue coloring that identifies Blue Cold is your guarantee of clean, even, safe, dependable heat all winter long. So don't take chances. Insist on Blue Coal. Ask for it by name. Phone your order to your nearest Blue Coal dealer tomorrow. And be sure to hold on for John Barclay's important message at the end of this program. The plot murder announced for today has been postponed. Today, the circle of death. Oh, Jack, what a delightful show. What a wonderful way to start our honeymoon. Darling, when it comes to shows and girls, I'm a swell picker. Now watch me pick a nightclub. (laughs) Oh, taxi. Hey, taxi. Darling, I think you're wonderful. I've never had such a marvelous time in my life. Hop in, honey. Things are pretty quiet around the theater district tonight, Bill. Yeah, pretty thin crowd. I don't blame folks for staying away. After those three bombings and 15 people being blown to pieces, I wouldn't be here myself if it wasn't the commissioner's orders. Same here. Boy, has this town got the jitters. Commissioner Weston's hopping around like a cat on a hot stove. I hear the Midtown Association is going to ask for his resignation if he don't catch the nut that's scattering bombs around here like confetti on New Year's Eve. The guy that's pulling these jobs sure must have it in for a lot of people. Yeah, he's a real screwball, if you ask me. Look at the way he's always sending warnings to the newspapers before he blows another batch of pedestrians to Hades. Yeah, and have you noticed? He always ends his notes by saying, I hate crowds. Yeah. Now, this is the time that crazy goof warned he'd set off another blast. Maybe his, his watch is slow. Things are going to pop if he pulls another job and kills any more people. Well, maybe... Maybe all the cops have him scared off. Maybe. Maybe not. Bill, look at that car. Blown to smithereens. Senseless and insane, Margot. Crimes like this always are. Turn on the radio. It's time for a news bulletin. The switch on the dashboard. All right, Lamont. Turning the on the inefficiency of the police department. Tonight at Midtown Hall, a meeting of businessmen of the entertainment world and property owners is in progress. Police Commissioner Weston has been asked to defend his department and produce results or resign. Mm, that's enough, Margot. Washington, D.C. Now, listen carefully. Yes, Lamont. I want you to go to that protest meeting right over there at Midtown Hall. Commissioner Weston is speaking, and the crowd is pretty certain to heckle his explanation of the failure of his department to catch this fiend. I'm sure of it. Now, here's what I want you to do. Keep quiet and watch your chance. Then I want you to cry out that Shadow could solve this crime without half trying. Aren't you flattering yourself? Never mind that, Margot. I have a very definite reason for doing this. A lot depends on your getting the crowd to take up your suggestion. I'll do my best, Lamont. But where are you going? I won't be far away. Hand me that leather case on the floor. Here you are. Am I permitted enough womanly curiosity to ask what's in it? (laughs) Just a little wire-tapping device. Telephone? No. No, Commissioner Weston will be talking over the loudspeaker system in Midtown Hall. Don't be surprised if the shadow interrupts his speech. Now, remember, Margot, cry out at the psychological moment. Hundreds of lives depend on it. Crazy man's making a fool of you, Weston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him in. As 
I have explained to you, every available resource of the police department has been thrown into catching this fiend. Our bomb squads have combed the city. Every known criminal with psychopathic tendencies has been rounded up and questioned. Not one fragment of a bomb has been found. No buildings have been damaged. No one person has been singled out for death. This is not an ordinary crime. We are not dealing with an ordinary criminal. Oh, alibi! Alibi! We've had enough! Fifteen people dead! Fifty injured! New talk! Talk! Business is at a standstill! We're being ruined! The whole city's in a panic! Get this fellow or resign, Weston! Get out! Let the mayor appoint somebody to the praise and let the cactus made the action! Before he strikes again! Yes. The shadow could solve this crime without half try! There's an idea! The shadow! Yes, yes. the shadow could get him! He's cracked cases for you before, Weston! Why don't you call him in? He wouldn't have to do much to do a better job of it than the police had! Get the shadow, Weston! What a father, Commissioner! You've done nothing in two weeks! You're a Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on! What makes you think this man who calls himself the shadow is interested in law and order? He's up to crack money of criminals, Hyderme. Yes, he tipped us off occasionally, but it may have been to get rid of rivals. We have no assurance he isn't a criminal himself. What of us? A thief can catch a thief. I don't run my department that way. You're not running it at all. That's a matter of opinion. You're not running it. I was asked here to tell you what we've been doing. You seem to think my department works with the shadow. We don't. We never have. And as for the shadow and you reporters can spread it all over the front pages, I challenge him to uncover one single scrap of evidence that my men have overlooked. I challenge the shadow to find this maniac. I am the shadow. I accept that challenge, Commissioner Wesson. I am working on the case. Gentlemen of the press, it will not be necessary for you to print the commissioner's challenge, but you can print this challenge to the arch fiend behind this reign of terror. Print this, gentlemen. The shadow will trap the mass killer if he dares walk through the central arcade during the rush hour between five and six Tomorrow night, remember, the central arcade between five and six, tomorrow night, I dare him to come to walk through the central arcade. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a paper. Give me a paper. That's two cents, mister. Uh, here's your two cents. Well, thanks. Here's the paper. No, no, no. Not that one on top. People, crowds have seen it. Well, so what? They're all the same. No, no, no. Give me that one underneath. Okay. The customer's always right. Hey, the mass murderer challenged by the shadow. That's your extra paper. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Shadow. Thank you, Mr. Shadow. The Central Arcade tomorrow. Mm, so he's daring me, the shadow fellow. He knows I hate crowds. Crowds and people pushing and getting in my way. Voices talking and shouting. I hate them. I hate them. And I'll show them. I'll show the shadow fella, too. I'll fool all of them. I'll accept his challenge. I'll be there at the Central Arcade. And the shadow fella will know I was there. <laughs> the whole world will know. <laughs> After I've gone... Orders have been carried out, Commissioner Weston. Good. There'd better not be any slip-ups. 200 patrolmen are stationed in the neighborhood of the Central Arcade. 50 picked men of the plainclothes and bomb squad will be in the crowd. If there is a crowd... There'll be a mob after all the publicity. If I could get my hands on the shadow, I'd wring his neck for this. Uh, what time is it? A little after four, sir. we better get down there pretty soon. Yes, sir. Shall I take that call, sir? No. I've been waiting for this. And if it's who I think it is... Hello. Hello. <laughs> listen to me, Shadow. No, Commissioner Weston. You listen.
listen to me. I'm listening. Quick, Connors, trace this call. Yes, sir. Don't bother, Commissioner. You can't trace this call. I've tapped a line. Just as I tapped the Midtown loudspeaker system last night. So that's how you pulled that crazy stunt. You're a fool, Shadow. Don't you realize you've endangered the lives of thousands of people? Nothing will happen if you do not interfere. I don't take my orders from you, Shadow. You're not running the police department. I'm not giving orders. But I need your help. Just do one thing for me, and you and not the Shadow will get the credit for the capture of the mass killer. Oh, yes? Well, what do you want? Just keep the crowd moving through the narrow arcade. Just keep them moving. Keep them moving. Everything depends on that. What are you trying to do, Shadow? To find a needle in a haystack. A man in a million. You haven't a chance. The maniac won't come. You overlook the fact that a dare is a powerful psychological magnet that no egotistical crazed mind can resist. Just keep that crowd moving, Commissioner. Keep them moving. <laughs> When you start figuring ways and means to save money for Christmas gifts, fuel is probably the last thing that comes to mind. Naturally, you don't want to jeopardize the health and comfort of your family, but did you know that you can actually have better heat for less money simply by burning blue coal? Here's why. Blue coal is a rich Pennsylvania anthracite, the fuel that furnaces, space heaters, and cooking ranges in this part of the country were especially designed to burn. And while other fuel prices are advancing... The cost of anthracite is not. No wonder thousands of homeowners are switching back to anthracite. No wonder anthracite is the fuel that is used for cooking purposes on the nation's cracked passenger trains. They have tested all kinds of fuel and found that anthracite is far more economical because it burns long, steadily, evenly, with minimum drafts and less attention. Now, the cream of all Pennsylvania anthracite is blue coal. It comes from the mines of the famous Glen Alden Coal Company. It's tested and retested for purity and uniform sizing. Blue coal is prepared especially for home use, and it comes in all domestic sizes, egg, stove, chestnut, and pea. So if you want clean, even, dependable heat at lowest cost, always order blue coal. Phone your nearest blue coal dealer tomorrow. You'll find his name listed in the where to buy it section of your classified telephone directory under the name Blue Coal. Almost up, Commissioner Weston. Yes. Two minutes to six. Oh, this is the longest hour I've ever spent in my life. Can you beat it the way people have flocked here on the chance of seeing somebody else blown to bits by this maniac? Looks like the shadow was right. The way they've been swarming through this arcade. Yeah, and watching each other like a bunch of wild animals. You see what happened to that poor guy with the Christmas box? I nearly killed him before we got him out. All he had was a doll for his kid. I saw it. Well, the time's up, Commissioner. Yes. Thank heavens. Any orders, sir? Just keep the men on duty till this crowd thins out. They'll be going home now. Commissioner! Commissioner Weston, look. What is it? The maniac. He's been here. Look at this piece of paper. Where'd you get it? In the arcade. He must have dropped it. Well, what's it say, Commissioner? Tell that shadow fellow I'll kill me a lot more people at 11 o'clock tonight. Oh, I was afraid something had happened something to him. Something has. I found the maniac. Thank heavens. Have you notified the police? Margot, this man is a fiend. If I notified the police and they bungle things, he might kill hundreds of people. This is a job that the shadow must handle alone. But Lamont, he's dangerous. You might fail. He might kill you. The shadow won't fail, Margot. 
But if he should, it's far better that one die than hundreds. Oh, Lamont, please. There must be a safer way. Perhaps, day. Margot, but this is the only sure way to end the career of this mass killer. <sighs> Goodbye, my dear. Lamont. Oh, Lamont. <laughs> Lively, Connors. Here comes the headquarters car. Yeah, it's Commissioner Weston's car. He's plenty worried about this maniac threatening to kill another batch of people at 11 tonight. Well, he'll sure have to go out of the theater area to kill him. He won't let anybody in the district here without a police permit. Wait a minute. Here comes a guy. Hey, you! You! Who, who me? Yeah, you. Where do you think you're going? Me? I, I'm going to work. That's where I'm going. You got a permit? You got a badge. See? <laughs> Says I'm a night watchman. I gotta go to work. What do you watch? Where do you work? <laughs> I watch things in the ground. Down there. Down where? Down under the street. Down under the planks. Oh, I get it, though. He's a night watchman down on the new subway they're building. Oh. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> I go down them steps. Every night I go down them steps and watch. Well, why did you say so? Get on with you. Get to your watching. Thank you. <laughs> Joe Tonetti is waiting for me so he can go home. Every night at 10.30, I take from him the job of watching. <laughs> now, that's a job I wouldn't want any part of. Me neither. I'll pound my feet on the street. Now, I'll go down. Oh, uh, Joey. Joey Tonetti. Joey, you can go home now. I'm here to watch. Hey, what's the matter? You're half a big speakerback fella. You're a five minute late. I want to go home. Here's the keys to everything now. You watch out. You don't you go to sleep. <laughs> the police don't want to let me come to work. But I show them the badge. <laughs> you can go home now, Joey. I'll, I'll watch everything. Okay. See you in the morning. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> people. So many people always pushing. Pushing me. But I'll show them. I'll fix them good. I'll kill them. That shadow fella, I'll show him too. <laughs> now, now, now I, I'm alone. <laughs> All alone. Not quite, Anton Spivak. You are not quite alone. I am with you. Huh? Do you hear my voice, Anton? Sure, sure. I, I always hear voices in the dark, on the street, and here under the street where I watch every night. Yes, Anton. But you've never heard my voice before, have you? Well, maybe. I, I, I don't think so. What's different about your voice? It's the voice of the shadow. Oh, <laughs> you're a pretty smart voice. <laughs> How'd you find me? Where's that shadow fellow the newspapers talk about? I am more than just a voice, Anton Spivak. I am the shadow. You, you the shadow? Yes. Where are you hiding? I am hiding under the cloak of invisibility. You cannot see me because I have clouded your mind. So you cannot see... That which is here. How did you get down here in this subway excavation? I followed you down the steps. Hmm. How'd you know where to find me? I picked you out of the crowd in the central arcade. <laughs> How did you know I was the one? Your eyes showed me. I knew then how much you hate crowds. My, my eyes show you? Yes. You passed close to me as I stood in the shadows. Hmm? The arcade is narrow. You didn't see me. Hmm. No one saw me. But I saw you. How'd you find out my name? I followed you to the place where you live. I found out you work here. In the tunnels. Oh, then then, then, then you, you followed me here from my home tonight? Yes, Anton Spivak. All the way. Mm, good, good. <laughs> You're a very clever shadow. But, but, but you must go now and let me do my work. My work. 
I, I, I ain't got much time. Now, now go quick before I get mad. No, you're plenty smart. <laughs> I, I'm glad to know you, Mr. Shadow, but but no, 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 you have to go. Yes, I'm smart. But you're smarter. <laughs> you bet. Let me stay. I want to learn. You can teach me things. Then maybe we can work together. You hate people, too? Yes. I hate crowds. Let me watch you and learn. All right. I'll let you watch. What are you going to do? Yeah, you just watch. What's in this shed? You see? Dynamite. Sticks and sticks of dynamite. Is this what you use to kill people with? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My precious dynamite. They kill the crowds I hate, see? <laughs> now, look here. Here's a stick of dynamite already fused. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six sticks of dynamite to go with it. <laughs> now, you watch. See, Shadow, I, I, I tie them in a bundle. But how do you take that dynamite to the place where you killed all those people? It's a block <laughs> away. How do you carry it? <laughs> that, that's where I'm smarter than you, Mr. Shadow. Show me. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> now, look, look, see, it, it's almost 11 o'clock. Now, here, here. You, you see this little hook? I hook the dynamite to it. Then what, Anton? Wait, wait, you, you you hear that car overhead on the boards? Yes. Well, if, if the light is red, it will stop right over our heads. Now, now, now listen. There, there, you see? The light is red. Now, now, now I take this crowbar. And I go up this ladder. Come on, come on, you come with me. Yes, I am still here. Although you cannot see me. Now, now, you watch. I, I, I pry the end of this plank back, see? And I, I, I hook the dynamite on the brake rods. And I, I strike a match. And, and I light the fuse. And, and, when, and when, when, when the light changes, the car takes the dynamite with it. And when the dynamite explodes a block away, I'm still here. While the... Oh, no, 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 no. You, you put out the fuse. You've tricked me. And here is the dynamite. No. Oh, you took it off the car. It, it's gone without the dynamite. And I promised I'd kill a lot of people tonight. Now I have to wait. Tomorrow the crowds will be still pushing me. Scaring me. You tricked me. That's what you did. You you tricked me. Where are you, Shadow? Shadow. Come here, Shadow. Nice, Shadow. Nice shadow. I'm here, Anton Spivak. Yes, yes, I, I hear you. <laughs> N- nice shadow. <laughs> come, c- come close to me. Put down that dynamite, Anton. No, no shadow. I light another match. If you touch that match to the fuse, you'll die too. But I'll kill you, and I don't care. You wouldn't let me kill people. And I don't want to live. I want to die. I want you to die too, Shadow. Wait, Anton. Oh, no, no, no. You blow out my match. Yes, I have a plan. Those thousands of people waiting up the street. Huh? Yes? You can kill all those people. Wouldn't that be better than just killing... The two of us. Uh-huh. How, how, how? Tell me Take how. Take your dynamite and come with me. Up the steps. Up to the street. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, there, there, there's policemen out there. I saw them. But they won't see you any more than you can see me. No, 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 no. They will see me. Hypnotize them. Huh? Hypnotize them. Look straight at them. Stare at them. And then they won't be able to see you. No, no, no. I'm afraid. Think of all those people waiting to be killed. Come. Just a few more steps. I am with you. You'll be safe. But I'll try. 
I'll try. <laughs> All those people waiting to be killed. <laughs> I'll try it. But but don't you leave me, Shadow, or I'll light the fuse. I'm here, Anton Spivak. Look, there are the two policemen. Uh-huh. Just stare at them hard as you pass, mm. and they won't see you. All right, I'll, I'll try, I'll try. Well, it's past seven, Connors. <laughs> Looks like a false alarm this time. Hey, wait a minute. Here's that night watchman. Hey, what's the matter with him? What's he staring at? Look. Look what he's carrying. You can't see me. You can't see me. Dynamite. Grab him. Oh, no, no. Take it away from him. Let me go. Hold it. No, I said no. Yeah, I no. got him. It's I... a mask killer. No, no, no. Oh, he, he lied. He fooled me. He said you couldn't see me. Oh, no, no. Give me my dynamite. I want to kill all those people. Hold him. No. Here's Commissioner Westall. I got him. We no. got him. We got the maniac, Chief. Let me look at him. No, no, no. He, he, he tricked me. He, he said you couldn't see me. Where'd he come from? Up out of the subway excavation, Commissioner. He's a night no, watchman. No, no. He, he tricked me. The, the shadow tricked me. Oh. It was the shadow. Yes, Commissioner Weston. The shadow. I found the killer. But the glory is all yours. Before we tell you of the Shadow's next exciting adventure, here's John Barclay, Blue Coal's famous heating expert, with an important message I promised you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Barclay. Friends, there are just two more days left in November. That means that homeowners have only two more days in which to phone their Blue Coal dealers and get the full details on how they may have a Blue Coal heat regulator installed in their homes for a free trial period of two weeks. To me, this is the most unusual offer ever made. The free use of a blue coal heat regulator for two whole weeks without any obligation on your part to buy. Believe me, friends, until you've used one of these marvelous thermostats, you don't know what real comfort is. Imagine having your home warm and cozy from morning till night without once having to make a trip down to the furnace. And that's not all. You'll find you burn far less coal with this regulator, too. But don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Phone your blue coal dealer tomorrow. I thank you. Friends, for your own sake, do as Mr. Barclay suggests. Phone your blue coal dealer tomorrow and get full details of this amazing free trial offer. Prove to yourself what thousands of satisfied owners already know, that with a blue coal heat regulator, you get more uniform heat, more economical heat than the most expensive oil burner can give you. But don't wait. Phone your blue coal dealer tomorrow. The story you have just heard is copyrighted by the Shadow Magazine. The characters in this story are entirely fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Shadow knows. <laughs> Next week, same time, same station, Blue Coal will again present another thrilling adventure of the shadow. Be sure to listen. Your announcer, Arthur Whiteside.